In this quick tip, we're going to look at how to put what was sometimes referred to as zebra striping on our table. Zebra striping is just a process of providing a slightly different alternating background color to our rows to make it easier to read large amounts of data. In Excel 2010, this is very simple. We'll simply go under our Home tab on our ribbon bar, go up to our Format as Table, click on the drop down. We'll go on our Home tab on the ribbon bar, click our Format as Table, and you'll see that it has a wide variety of styles that are ready made for us to use. And we can pick different colors and different layout items as well. So I'm going to pick a pretty simple standard. So I'm going to just pick the very first example, just so you can see what it looks like. And it'll come up with a little box that says Format as Table, and it will figure out what cells you want to have incorporated. It will also provide you a checkbox to say if your first row is the header. It is, so we're going to leave it checked. Click OK. And you can see it automatically goes in and fills it out. Now my rows are alternating where my even number rows have a light gray background. My odd number rows have a white background. And if I had a large amount of data that spread over many, many columns, this would really make it easier to work with especially if you're dealing with a lot of numbers, which can kind of seem, <coughs> which can sometimes kind of just run together and be harder to use. So that's just a real quick way of going in and changing a table design. Now, one thing you may notice is that now that our design has been created, now one thing you may notice is that now that our design has been created, if I'm inside my table, I have a new tab. It's under Table Tools, and it says design. And I can come over to the table design and hover over and even go and click and save different designs. So I can change my colors and anything else that I need to. So hopefully this helps in <clears throat> so hopefully this helps in providing an easier way for you to read large Excel files. If you like this tip, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this tip, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel.